Hello friend, thank you so much for being here. I'm coming to you today with no face makeup on, I hope that's alright. I'm just wearing falsies and a little lip product and comb some stuff through my eyebrows, wearing my gay ass earrings from Bijou by Beja. And yeah, so today we're going to be talking about my recommendations for the Sephora Spring VIB sale. So it's starting the day that I upload this, April 1st, going through April 11th, and I will leave a screenshot of more info about the different tiers and the percentages of discounts that you will be getting if you buy anything during that time. So let's go ahead and get started. I sound like a broken record every single time that I speak up about this product, but as you guys know, Fenty glosses are my favorite gloss formula and it's for a good reason. So my favorite formula is actually one that I just discovered. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat. I have the shade Fenty Glow Heat. And the reason that I like this one better than the other ones is because it fills in the lines of your lips so it's very like smooth, looks photoshopped. The plumping sensation in this is really mild, at least for me. I don't have sensitive lips in any way, so this one does not hurt. The color is just perfect, like a perfect brown neutral. And if you're not interested in a plumping gloss or if you want something with a shimmer, something more transparent, then definitely check out their original Gloss Bomb Luminizers. All of them are good. I am wearing this next product on my lips actually. So the next recommendation I have is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Duos. There's three colors. Unfortunately, right now, this specific shade that I have in Pillow Talk 2.0 Medium is sold out right now, I'm so sorry. But um, Pillow Talk 1 and 3 are still available. I think this duo is like $25. So you get the bullet lipstick, it looks like this. Just really cute. It has like a rounded square kind of shape. Very nice for travel. And then the Lip Cheat. This is the lip liner I have on. I think this duo is a nice deal. I'll go ahead and do a little swatchy poo. So this is the lip liner in the shade Pillow Talk 2 Medium. And then the matching lipstick is basically the same color. So that's the, sorry, I'm not trying to flick you off. Um, that's the lip liner and this is the lipstick. So moving on to what is on the rest of my lips. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner lining my lips. And then I have my next recommendation, which are basically any of the fresh sugar Tinted Lip Treatments. Um, all of these have SPF 15. My favorite shade is this one in Sugar Petal. I mean, this is just like the perfect, natural, everyday pink. And it's sheer. It does have dewiness in it. And these actually hydrate your lips. That's what I love about these is a lot of SPF Lip treatments, um, they tend to dry out my lips and it's not what we're going for. So this one is just a tried and true. I've been using these for like five plus years and I love that they have SPF. It's really important because the skin on your lips along with the skin underneath your eyes are the thinnest on your body. So really important to protect them and SPF is the number one best anti-aging treatment that you can use. So any of the sugar, the fresh sugar tinted lip treatments, I recommend. Moving on to my favorite lipstick at the moment. So this is the Bite Beauty Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick in the shade Sugar Buns. Does that have a smell? So Bite Beauty is 100% vegan. Um, all of their products are food grade. The average person ingests one to two pounds of lipstick per year if you're a makeup user, of course. And so it's really important for me personally that if I'm going to be swallowing any of my makeup that it is safe for me. All Bite products are 
safe if you do end up swallowing. This is the shade Sugar Buns, my favorite shade that I have. And just super creamy, super long lasting, makes your lips look just like soft and velvety and perfected. I adore this color. This has just been like a go-to every day. And I believe right now the Bite Beauty lipsticks are half off. So I would definitely grab them while you can. This is a, another Bite Beauty product. This is the Bite Beauty Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss. And my favorite shade is Insider Donut. I have three of them. It's just a nice classic brown with some gold and pink shimmer. Now this is a thicker consistency. It clings to the lips really well. The plumping sensation, just like the Fenty one, is not strong at all. You just feel like a little bit of heat, not painful, but the shine is just really nice. And you can't go wrong with these. These are just super easy to use. Um, the only critique I have is I don't really like the clicker. The clicker is not my favorite. I wish it was maybe like a squeezy tube or some other kind of applicator just because um, at the beginning you can't really control how much product comes out and I kept dispersing too much product. Next is a lip gloss that will do you absolutely no wrong. My next recommendation is the Tower 28 Jelly Lip Glosses. I believe these are called. I have the shade Cashew. This is a perfect everyday nude. It has the perfect amount of brown, perfect amount of yellow in it. It's not pink whatsoever. So if you're looking for just like a true brown nude lip gloss, look no further. These have a true glass-like finish. Completely fill in the lips. Just make your lips look fake, photoshopped, like absolutely perfect. And... These are not the longest wearing, like the Bite Beauty Yaysayer lip glosses, but they just feel so comfortable. It feels like water going on the lips. Um, there's no scent, no irritation. And this color has just been like the perfect color to pair with a nude lip liner. The only thing that I'm wearing on my skin right now, this is the Tula SBF. It has SBF 30 and it has UVA and UVB protection. You get 3.38 fluid ounces. I believe this is about $50. This is an expensive SPF. However, comma, this is the best SPF, facial SPF that I've ever tried. I've never ever had any pilling with this product. And as you can see, it just gives a really lovely, glow to the skin. It's never irritated my skin, never broke me out. This is just a go-to for me. I never leave the house without wearing this and sometimes I do put it on my hand. I'll show you the texture. It looks like this and then when you work it into the skin, you can see it just leaves like a natural glow. And it is hydrating. I use this as an SPF and a moisturizer in one. But yeah, I put this on my hands too before I leave the house. I just haven't found another SPF that works as well as this one, that doesn't irritate my skin, that doesn't pill. So if you put any products on top of this SPF, it will not disturb the texture. It won't break it up. It will just work well with basically anything that you put on top of it. That's what I really love about this one. And it's hydrating and glowy. Another glowy product. This is marketed as a skincare product. However, I personally do not use this as skincare. Um, so this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I believe this is yeah, this is 1.3 fluid ounces, comes in this bottle, and this does provide a really nice glow underneath makeup, or just by itself, but as far as skincare goes, I wouldn't depend on this to make any changes in your skin texture or acne or anything like that. I've used this for like at least two months, and I haven't seen it do anything as far as my acne goes or like redness or dark spots 
but I really like wearing this underneath makeup because it provides a really nice smooth base for anything that you're putting on top. It has a really nice glow, doesn't irritate the skin, and it doesn't break down or pill when you put like foundation or anything on top. So if you're looking for something that's basically like a glowy primer, I would recommend the Glow Recipe Dew Drops. Moving on to my favorite makeup cleanser. This is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. Inky List has really affordable products like in the $10 or less range and you get five fluid ounces with this. I think this is only like $11 and this is the only makeup cleanser that doesn't break me out um, on the face. So I've tried um, the Juno & Co one, I've tried um, the Clinique one, I've tried the Pixi one and this one is the best that I've tried and it's also the most affordable so you really can't go wrong with this. It's very balmy and oily and when you rub it together it turns like immediately um, into an oil and it breaks down your makeup really easily and it's easy to also take off. You just need warm water after you've taken off your makeup. You just use warm water and then wash your face with whatever cleanser that you're using and you're good to go. Moving on with more skincare. So I don't have this product right now um, because it's so incredibly expensive. But with the sale, if you're interested in splurging on a good skincare brand, Drunk Elephant is the way to go. Their products are really expensive, like $80 kind of expensive, but the Baby Facial and their Virgin Marula Oil are some of the best skincare products I've ever tried and they are effective. Like if you want a product where you see a difference, visibly see a difference after using these products, Drunk Elephant is definitely the way to go. And if it's in your budget, if you can't afford to splurge on skincare like that, then I would definitely, definitely try it out, especially with the discount for the Sephora sale. But the Baby Facial is a chemical exfoliant. So I believe it has BHA and or AHA. And you just leave it on for like 10 minutes and it really leaves your skin afterwards feeling like baby skin like refreshed smooth and you can tell when you're washing it off like the dead skin you can feel it like washing off your face it's so nice but over time when you use that like it really helps with texture when i used that i had like absolutely no texture and i would follow it up with the Virgin Marula Oil. It's a really nice lightweight oil and it sinks into the skin immediately. Some oils, some skincare oils just kind of sit on top of the skin and your skin just can't absorb all of the moisture from that. But the, Vir the Virgin Marula Oil from Drunk Elephant sinks into your skin immediately and it makes your skin feel super soft and glowy. So if you can afford drunk elephant products, I definitely would try out at least those two. But if you're like me and you try to save money and not spend so much on makeup and skincare, I do have a more affordable uh, option. So this is from The Ordinary. And this is called the AHA 30% BHA 2% Peeling Solution. It's a 10 minute exfoliating facial. And I have gone through about half of this. I've had this for about six months. And this is just like the baby facial from Drunk Elephant in the sense that when you wash this off, you feel a layer of dead skin coming off. It's kind of a cool sensation. This is a great exfoliator and I am an advocate for chemical exfoliators versus physical exfoliants because physical exfoliants use like microplastics and stuff that can tear and rip rip apart your skin and its skin barrier. So I would definitely look into investing in a good chemical peeling exfoliating solution like this one. This is like $8. The Ordinary is also another affordable skincare brand. Just bear with me because I have more. <laughs> so 
I don't have this, but I've had this product a couple of times uh, repurchase this product. It is the Milk Makeup Cooling Stick. It's the blue colored uh, cooling stick. You can use it all over the face, but I think it's marketed for underneath the eyes and that's what I used it for. And this is truly like the best under eye prepping kind of product that I've ever, ever, ever tried. So it's cooling. It's a nice cooling sensation. So it feels really fresh when you put it underneath your eyes, but it's n never irritated my skin. And the best part about this product is it doesn't interfere with your concealer or anything that you're going to be putting underneath the eyes. It just preps your under eyes perfectly, smooths them, hydrates them, is my favorite part about this. It hydrates the under eyes. And I've always had the best under eye like concealer days when I've used this product. Speaking of under eyes, the Youth to the People Under Eye Eye Cream, but this eye cream has a lot of bold claims, stuff like smooth, hydrate, firm, um, and <laughs> whatever else they say. Um, it really does firm and smooth, like that is the truth. Uh, when they say that, it is the truth. When I have that eye cream, it really like I saw a difference after a week that any like little bumps or lines that you get underneath the eyes were starting to disappear. It was actually insane. Um, the one thing that I will say about that eye cream is I don't believe that it hydrates like it says it does. It's not giving what it says it's giving as far as hydration. So if you do have dry under eyes or if you're someone that struggles with texture, fine lines, um, milia, like any kind of bumps underneath the eyes, I would still recommend that you use the eye cream in conjunction with a hydrating eye cream, like the e.l.f. one, um, I'm using that right now. That's a really hydrating eye cream. Um, I'm actually wearing it right now. But I would definitely pair those two together or another hydrating product. Um, if you're going to be using that and you have dry skin. If you have oily skin or just like normal skin, then disregard what I just said. Finally, the moment I've been waiting for is let's get into some makeup, some face makeup, eyeshadows, um, all that good stuff. So the first recommendation is this Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder from Sephora Collection. This is a really nice powder. Um, I've talked about the Pat, McGra Pat McGrath one before, but um, that one is just overly expensive for like no good reason. This I would say is a pretty good dupe for the Pat McGrath one, but it's $20 and you get way more product. You get eight grams versus the four grams in the Pat McGrath one. So it's just like a no brainer there. And this is in the shade 35 Bronze. It's a shade too dark for me. So when I use this, I kind of use this more as a, as a bronzer or just to set the outer parts of my face. But this is great underneath the eyes. This is great to set your base makeup, like your foundation and concealer. I mean, this just works. I've never had any problems with cakiness with dryness. It really is what it says it is. It's a micro smooth smoothing face powder. These are the best shimmery cream eyeshadows you can find on the market and that is the Tarte Chrome Paints or they're, I think they're called like the Tarte Chrome Eyeshadow Pot, something like that. Um, you'll see the picture but these are magnificent. Like there is no other eyeshadow that has the shine and sparkliness and it's just magical. Let me swatch. And this is in the shade Sun Drenched and you really need like the tiniest amount. I'm not kidding you. So this is the shade Sun Drenched. Like you guys see that, right? Like I get goosebumps every single time I wear this product. It is so shiny, so reflective. 
Um, the only thing you have to be concerned about with this one is that there is a little bit of fallout. So I would definitely do your eyes first. I've had these same ones for years. Like I don't, I don't know if you could ever run out of these because you don't need that much. There's three grams in this. This is the shade Beach Bay. I'll show you this one as well. I literally just tap, just tap my finger and that is more than enough. So this is Beach Bay, but they just, need I say more? Next recommendation is the KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner. I have the shade Mad Max Brown 20. This is a classic, like literally a cult classic and for good reason. This eyeliner literally will not go anywhere. Um, as far as wear time, it definitely wears better than the R.E.M. Beauty um, eyeliner marker. It wears better than the NYX Epic Ink eyeliner marker. I mean, this is like the longest lasting eyeliner pen that you can find. And I really like this shade brown. Super easy to apply. It builds upon itself really well. Super pigmented. Hate to beat a dead horse with this one, but this is truly one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. I've talked about this one before. It's the only one that I really use in my videos and in real life. And this is the Rare Beauty, um, the Rare Beauty Mascara. Um, and this is in the shade Black. I'll show you what the wand looks like. It doesn't smudge, doesn't flake. It's not too wet, not too dry. It's just like the perfect consistency as far as formula goes. Really good for beginners because you won't have a messy application with this one. I mean, I've worn this for like 12 hours before, like on a work day and did not fail me. I did have like a little bit of smudging on my outer corner because I do have watery eyes, but if you're not going to be wearing it for 12 hours like I did, like there's really going to be absolutely no issue. Next is a product from Kosas. Now, here's the thing with this product. <laughs> I do like this concealer. Um, this is the Revealer Concealer from Kosas. And I have the shade 5.50. And this is an olive undertone. And it just... I've talked about this before. The undertone is not right for me. I just have not found my right shade um, in the range. So that's my only issue really with this product. Um, I don't use this one as much as I want to, but the formula is where it's at. So the formula of this is super hydrating. It does have skincare ingredients in it, which is really nice. I do like that. This is perfect for someone who either has dry skin or someone who is looking for like dewiness, freshness underneath the eyes. If you're someone who likes like a matte airbrush, smooth under eye, you're not gonna like this. You're not gonna get that effect with this product. Um, it's not completely full coverage. I would say it's medium buildable. You can definitely build it up to a full coverage, but the coverage, the coverage that you're gonna get off the bat is just a classic medium coverage. And this one is just super hydrating and easy to work with, easy to blend, um, works well on the under eyes and also on the face. And it's just super lightweight. It's not heavy, but you feel the moisture. It's It feels like kind of like you're putting an eye cream underneath your eye. And it has, as you can tell, it has like a nice sheen to it. Definitely think this one blends out the best with your fingers. Next, let's talk about something that makes me kind of sad. And that is Marc Jacobs Beauty. Um, if you don't know, Marc Jacobs Beauty is being phased out. I guess they're closing down, but some of their products are still on sale. I guess they're selling like all of the products that they have left. Um, before they completely shut their doors, which makes me so sad because Marc Jacobs Beauty truly has like quality products. They still have the Marc Jacobs uh, lacquer lip glosses 
on their website. They only have a couple of shades though, but if those shades suit you, then grab them. Like the Marc Jacobs lip glosses remind me a lot of the Tower 28 ones as far as like that jelly-like feeling. Um, compared to the Tower 28 ones, the Tower 28 ones are thinner. The Marc Jacobs one are truly like a lick la a lip lacquer type of texture. It's not sticky whatsoever. They smell like mint, which I like. If there's anything of Marc Jacobs that you see on Sephora um, that you're interested in, I don't think you can go wrong with Marc Jacobs Beauty and definitely get them now before you can never get them again. On a brighter note, let's talk about Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. You truly cannot go wrong with Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow formula. This is the Soft Glam Palette and I've had, I've had Modern Renaissance, I've had Silk Culture, I've had, um, what is it, like the Prism one. I've, I've tried a bunch of her eyeshadow formulas. This is my favorite palette that I've ever tried. I like this even more than Modern Renaissance and there's also a mini version of this so if you don't want all these colors there is a mini soft glam but this is just a foolproof formula. The one, the only critique I have to say about Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow formula is they are powdery so when you put your brush in like there is quite a bit of kickback because they are a softly pressed eyeshadow but that's also a good thing when it comes to blendability these blend themselves um you would never have any problems even with this black shade blending eyeshadows from abh it's the pigmentation is there the shimmers they're not like um as shimmery as the tarte chrome paints but they do have shine it's like a nice classic sheen on the lids for the price point for the quality of the formula um and they do come with a brush i don't i just don't have it in here but they do come with a brush so you get a brush and eyeshadows for like 45 dollars. i just think that's a really good price point and it does have a mirror it's a nice quality mirror too and um, has like this felty soft velvet packaging which um, honestly isn't my favorite because it does it does get dirty and like after a while um, it starts to like flake off but overall ABH eyeshadows out of like any eyeshadows that you can get on Sephora I would I would go for these ones these are just the best so those are all of my recommendations for the Sephora Spring Savings Sale. Um, it is starting April 1st all the way through April 11th. I will leave all the information down below, all of the products I mentioned down below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support so much. I'm sending you so much love and light. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!